we're going to be looking at marginal analysis. So first let's look at the marginal cost. So marginal cost is the additional cost occurred from the consumption of the next good or service and marginal benefit is the additional benefit incurred from the consumption of the next good or service. Okay, so first I'm going to label my axes, so dollar sign and quantity. Okay, and we are going to do marginal benefit and we are going to do marginal cost, which is upward sloping. Okay, so market equilibrium is going to be over here where the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost. So this is the equilibrium quantity and this is the ideal equilibrium price. Let me put a little stuff there. Okay, great. I'd like you to take a look at the right. And so at this point, when the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost, this is what is referred to as the sweet spot in economics. And that's when the market equilibrium has both productive and allocative efficiency. Productive efficiency is when the economy is producing the maximum output for a given level of technology and resources. And allocative efficiency is when the economy is producing the optimal mix of goods and services, which basically means uh, they're producing what society wants. When your marginal cost is greater than your marginal benefit, you're not going to consume. You are somewhere along here. And if your marginal benefit is greater than your marginal cost, you're going to continue to consume. Okay. This is because over here, if you look, you're, let's say you want to buy a diamond ring and the dollar sign is the additional cost of purchasing the next carrot and the quantity is the amount of carrots. So let's say you are buying a one carrot ring and the additional cost is up here and this is your quantity. Well, your marginal benefit, even though it's greater than your marginal cost, you're still so much, you're still willing and able to buy more. And so you want, you don't want a one carat ring, you want a five carat ring. So you are going to continue to purchase more and more carats until you reach your market equilibrium. Because that's because you're willing and able to, let's say, buy your five carat quantity and this is the right price. You feel that that's the right price, so that's your market equilibrium. So you're going to continue to purchase more carats until you feel that you are willing and able, until it reaches the amount that you want and at that cost. But let's say for a sixth carat, the marginal cost is just too much and in your price range, in your opinion, even though, even if you're able to buy it, if you're not willing to, you're going to stop here. So you're going to stop consuming when your marginal cost is greater than your marginal benefit.